Today I'm going to show you four of the best cheap flights websites that nobody seems to be talking about. It's not that popular tools like Google Flights, Skyscanner, and Momondo are bad by any means. They're actually some of the best websites to find cheap flights. It's just that today I want to show you how to find cheap flights using a few clever specialty tools for anyone who wants to take their travel hacking game to the next level. If you've already heard all four of these, consider yourself a cheap flight finding expert. All right, cheap airfare, here we come. First up on our list is Skip Lagged, and Skip Lagged shines in its ability to help you find hidden city flights. Hidden city flights are when you can save money by getting off at your layover instead of your final destination. For example, let's say you wanted to fly from New York to Orlando, and for some reason the tickets were super expensive. So you could use skip lag to look for one of these hidden city flights and you might find that say a flight from New York to Dallas is actually cheaper and it has a layover in Orlando and you can just get off on your layover instead of taking your final flight to Dallas. I have no idea why some of these flights are cheaper when they actually have more stops and travel more distance, but sometimes they are. On skip lag you can see which flights are hidden city flights because the last flight in the itinerary will be crossed out. This works best where the place you want to go is a popular airport hub where there's lots of connections and it doesn't work on all routes. If you do decide to do this, just be careful not to check any bags, even at the gate, because your bags are going to continue to your final destination even if you get off early. Also, airlines don't necessarily love it when you do hidden city flights, so it's probably not a good idea to do the same route over and over with the same airlines. That said, if you follow all the tips on the Skip Lag FAQ page, this can be a pretty sneaky travel hack. Speaking of travel hacks, I made a free download revealing 15 tricks that professional travelers use to pay about a third of the price as everybody else. So if you're interested in saving money, grab that down below. The next tool up on the list is called ITA Matrix. And we made a whole video about how to find the cheapest flights on Google Flights that was super popular and in that video many commenters said that they actually prefer using IT matrix over Google Flights. By the way, if you haven't already seen that video, there's some really good tips in there, so I'll link that down below as well. Anywho, ITA matrix is basically the technology that powers Google Flights and many other search engines. It's similar to Google Flights, but it gives you some extra advanced features for travel hackers like you and me to nerd out on. That said, it kind of comes down to personal preference and so you'll have to test it out to see which you prefer. Some people swear by it, saying that it's more accurate and better at finding the cheapest prices possible and a lot of people use it for open jaw flights where your origin and your destination aren't exactly the same both ways. It's also a powerful tool in finding long stopovers, which can add an extra destination to your trip for free or really cheap. For some of these search features, you need to know how to harness all the search power that ITA Matrix gives you, and maybe I'll make another video about that in the future, but in most cases, it's going to take a little bit to get the hang of it. The last tool I'm going to show you guys makes finding these long stopovers dead simple and is a lot more user friendly. Now one thing to know about ITA Matrix is that unlike Google Flights, you can't book your flight directly with ITA Matrix. You have to do one extra step. You can either book directly with the airline or you can copy the flight itinerary that they give you on ITA Matrix and paste that into a website called bookwithmatrix.com. Next up on the list is Scott's Cheap Flights, which is a newsletter that sends out epic deals that are personalized to your airport. You set the departing airports that you're interested in, and whenever they find these awesome cheap deals, they send them directly to your inbox. And they only send the best deals, usually 40 to 90% off. These usually aren't last minute deals either, so you'll have plenty of time to plan your trip after you buy a ticket. They also tend to shy away from more basic, uncomfortable airlines, so when you see their deals, you know they're for actual quality flights. Speaking of which, if you're thinking about flying with Spirit Airlines, don't book your ticket without first watching our video on tips for flying with Spirit Airlines, 
which includes our nightmare experience. Scotch Cheap Flights has both free and paid plans, but I just recommend signing up for the free plan to start. The free plan will send you all the deals for international flights. If you fly domestically a lot, you might want to sign up for their premium plan, which just costs a few bucks per month. Premium members save an average of $550 per ticket. So even if they just help you find one flight, the savings you'd get would basically pay for your membership for over a decade. I can personally attest to this because the newsletter once helped me and my wife save $1,000 on two tickets from LA to Asia. Now it's important to note that they currently only focus on flights that are leaving from the United States. And so if you're based outside of the United States, it really doesn't make sense at this time. Before I move into the last one, I just want to mention that all four of these tools can help you find super cheap flights, but there are other travel hacks that allow you to fly practically for free. I'm going to make a video on exactly how I traveled all the way from Detroit to Spain for just $5. So subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified when that video drops. Alrighty, last up on the list is a site called Airwander. Airwander helps you find long stopovers, which essentially lets you add another destination to your itinerary on the cheap. Stopovers are long layovers where you have time to leave the airport and do exploring before taking your connecting flight. Sometimes these stopovers can last for days and so you have plenty of time to see a bunch of awesome stuff. Here's how it works with Airwander. First, you search for your origin and your destination like you normally would. Then all you have to do is hit this little plus button. When you do this, it will search for flight itineraries that have long layovers and it will tell you exactly how much extra it would cost to add a pit stop into your itinerary. You can even set the length of the layover that you're looking for. So if you want to explore for let's say three days before moving on to your final destination, it will tell you exactly how much extra it would cost to do that. In some cases, it's just a few dollars extra to add a whole nother destination to your trip. Cha-ching! Once you finally find your cheap flight, this next video will show you some sneaky personal item packing hacks that will save you loads of money on check bags. Check it out. Bye-bye guys.